Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial session with me, the Virtual Assistant. And today I will show you how to create a Google Calendar event from Gmail. This is one of my favorite Gmail tricks because it just allows me to schedule webinars, meetings, special events, and other offline events very easy directly from my Gmail. And it saves me about a minute or so scheduling events. So let's start. Okay, here is my Gmail. As you can see, I opened an email that says meeting for tonight. And this is a Skype meeting with Jane at 8 a.m. EST. So usually what people would do is to go to calendar, just click on here. And it, it will take you to this page and then scroll down until you find the time when the meeting will be held. So 8 a.m. EST, that's 8 p.m. here in the Philippines. So I'm going to, okay, this is 8 p.m. And then I'm going to say Skype meeting with Jane. So I'm going to create the event. But this doesn't have a lot of uh, details. Uh, I want to have reminders and I want to add more details. And if I want to do that, I have to edit the event and then add all the details here. Okay. So, uh, this might take one to five minutes at most if you're doing it like that. So, this is this trick that I will show you saves you about 30 seconds to a minute doing that. Okay, this is actually a, a very useful trick if you have a lot of women webinars or if you have a lot of events that you schedule throughout the day. So, how do I do that? I, ha I go here under more and then I select create event and then it will take me here at this editing page of the event so as you can see the system already added the subject of the email as the title of the event but it still doesn't have the correct time so I'm gonna choose the correct time here and then by default the duration of every event is one hour you can change that to 30 say 30 minutes so that's from 8 to 8 30 or even longer just select from the options right down below and you also have to check the time zone because your calendar or your might be set to a different time zone than where you are right now so for this one i have it set to philippines so that's okay and then where it could i could type in skype in here or and then the body of the email became the description of the event so i also need to add an event color because i like my meetings to be in green because this one is actually a client meeting and i also want a reminder an email reminder set a day before the event and i want a pop-up to be sent every 30 minutes or instead of a pop-up i can use an email okay so i want it to show me as busy this is a public event anyone can see that i want people to see that i am busy and i can add guests for example this is a client meeting and i want another va uh, on my team to attend the event so i'm gonna send her an email say i'm gonna send email to okay i'm not sure about the email so i'm just gonna send another email to myself <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add. So you can add that very easily. So don't allow them to modify an event and check this one if you don't want them making or editing making any changes to it. And then I click on save. Would you like to send invitation to guests? Well, yes, I do. When you send an invite to guests, it also and if they allow it, it becomes added to their own calendar. So this is, you know, you can use this one. Okay, I'm going to send Okay, I'm going to send it. So now, added the meeting for tonight on Monday, April 23, 2012 and 8 p.m. Manila time. So I'm going to, okay. So here it is, 8 p.m. Skype meeting. 
Okay, there you go. So I have the meeting in here. So that's it. This trick can actually save you a lot of time and hassle. It's if you're scheduling a lot of events throughout the day or throughout the week for yourself or for your clients. And it's a very handy tool or trick as, a, as, a, as I said. Now, if you found this video useful, please like or share the video to your network. Uh, you can find the like button under this under the video frame. And if you want more tutorials and helpful articles, please check out my blog, thevirtualonlineassistant.com, and leave a comment. Thank you.